What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Philadelphia Flyers getting into free agency. We just did all the re-signing and stuff. We have a lot of roster space except there's no real prospects here in the free agency and we still need to worry about hitting the cap floor so we can still sign someone and a pretty good idea to like bring back uh, Shen for a year or something like that. He wants a two-year deal which actually might be perfect because I could use him for a year and then I could trade him again for more picks. No teams are interested in him. I could you know give him about 10 mil for two years which won't break the bank i don't think i'll have to check our contracts but um i'll double check that i don't think it'll break the bank plus if we're going to be trading simmons off pretty quickly then we'll want you know someone else to with connect me basically that's what i'm kind of thinking of so that's that's where i'm at right now and of course we'll be trading uh with simmons eventually during this year get some picks for him yeah that's basically it Okay, so, um, first thing I did want to check out, there's, I guess, one prospect that might be worth something, I'll, I'll double check on him, he's like a, I think he said a medium bottom six, with bottom sixes I'm not too excited about, okay, 74 at 20, that's not terrible, he's a sniper though, uh, so that is kind of terrible, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know what, I'm not even gonna even go for it, just because, pff, why, like, I can get this grinder guy a fourth liner, but he's not even that good, you know? I kind of would rather just be like, nope, just hold off on it. We could use some guys on our AHL. Like, that's the thing. I'm, that's the only thing I'm kind of, like, wondering about if we could use a guy. You know what? Fuck it. We have space for him. Is, does he, he wants a three-year deal, though. See, that's the thing. Do I want to give someone a three-year deal? <laughs> Is it something like that bad? We have the roster slots for it, but you never know how many guys are going to jump up in that free agency. Good or decent guys. And, yeah, roster space, they, they disappear very quickly, very quickly. So, let me just kind of check and see what we have for an AHL team, just, uh, just to get an idea here, so, just do forwards here, do we have guys in this, oh, it's gonna put some guys in the system, maybe, let's see, one, two, wow, yeah, we need to sign a couple guys here, and then we have some in the system, in the system, pop a guy, we might actually get some jumps here, so, well, we might, yeah, we might want to sign a couple guys here, All right, well, we'll have to see. We should, although we did sign some of the European guys who could play there immediately. But yeah, maybe I should sign that guy just in case because we don't have too much in the way of forwards. Um, either Same with D in the system. Like we'll, ha we'll have to play a lot with uh, some just computer-generated guys in there, which isn't the worst thing ever, but it's you always want your own guys growing there, to be honest. But it's looking like that's not much of an option here, to be to put it lightly. So hopefully Hart gets a nice jump too. Anyway. I just wanted to see about roster slots here. At least we're, we're not going to be under the minimum, so maybe I will sign that guy just for the hell of it. Just have someone else there. You know, you never know. He might become one of those, like, oh, he can help out our AHL team in the future. Being a winger for someone, or you never know. So, yeah, I'll do a couple. Oh, one thing I was supposed to check out was the contract lengths for Shin. That was what I went there for the first place, and then I got caught up doing a lot of other stuff. Typical Sin, man. Typical, typical Sin right there. All right, so yeah, let's, let me check out the actual contract since that's what I went for. Would the two-year deal be kind of a good idea? I think maybe not because we got a lot of guys one year. Well, cousin. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just go by overalls because that makes a lot more sense. Sandheim, he'll want a bigger deal. Maybe not huge, big. Okay, Simmons won't matter. Tuck. Okay, so we could probably get away with it two years and then be able to. Even if we can't, we could always trade him in free agency if we need to free up space. I don't think we're going to hit that. We got Konechny on a fire deal for three more years. Same with Provorov. And Ghost of Spare has another two years on a really good deal as well. So Cousins probably ain't going to break out. The Brint Cat or Tuck. Tuck might, but he's not going to want a huge amount more. I, don't, I still don't think he's going to break out too much, although he is 85 now. This would be second line. It's, he's might even get another jump after this, which is, could be great. Although, I kind of almost, well, his defense isn't that good. If he had better defense, I would almost consider, like, having him one of those tweener guys, like a Timo Meyer in Montreal for us, but mm, it's uh, it's an option. Hag. This would be top four again. Or, sorry, top six again. Stay there, bud. All right, he's on a decent contract. Yeah, I don't know if the Brent Cat's going to jump. Although, 22 is usually when they get a nice little jump. So, maybe a third liner for this guy. Not the greatest defensively. We kind of need him to become a scorer. So, yeah. 
All right. Um, contract wise, I think we're good to sign sign him for two years. I don't think we'll run into too many problems. And again, we're gonna hit. We're gonna. All we're trying to do is getting close. At least no twenty something mil. Like <laughs> we should be fine for that, or another ten mil even. Um, I don't think we're gonna really run into that issue. I'll try to get him for as little as possible though, just to be safe. I can always sign another guy for one year to get the cap. Um, but I kind of want this to also be a movable contract if I'm gonna get him to two years. So he wants two years. Probably get him for like straight. Like eight and a half. Uh, although I probably just want to go to nine, not to risk it. I'm not going to ten, but two years at nine mil. It's expensive, sure, but it puts us. We'll still have another fifteen mil to play with for the next year, and we could always sign another guy if we want to get closer to the cap floor, which we might have to do to trade Simmons off. I don't know, but two years at nine mil, still a movable deal. We could always retain if we need to on that last year, and that should help that trade go through. If it comes to that, but I don't just want to get him one year because it jumps up quite a bit more. Um, although it is safer, I kind of would also like to trade this guy and get more for him because I'm greedy like that and I want to get a lot of picks. So here we go. Uh, Braden Shen, welcome back. We're going to give you a nice little payday here on the Flyers. Thanks for giving us picks, man. <laughs> Thanks for giving us some uh, good picks. Thanks for hitting free agency. That's hilarious, though. Guy hits free agency after we trade him. Okay, so... We'll do that. Yeah, and I guess I'll go for that prospect guy. Can't hurt. At least it's one guy we can sign. One little prospect. And I don't think there's... I kind of want to sign maybe a defenseman too, but I really don't think there was any good defensive prospects. Like, at all. <laughs> no, not really. Yeah, just not anything, basically. So, we'll sign this guy. Crank it up a bit. I don't care if I miss him, but we'll just do that. We'll sign him. Let me just check out the defensive prospects here if there's anything even remotely close. Even for a 7th D, but there's really not even a 7th D. They're all... A red 7. This guy's 79, so I could sign him to have him. Yeah, he could be like a nice depth guy. And again, I could, I could sign him for like a year or two. Like, that's actually maybe a better idea. Like, not try to get guys who are like great, great, but... Maybe guys who may be okay. Like, I could even sign one of these, but I'd rather... If I'm getting a 20-year-old, I'd rather me enlist to be top six, but there's no one even close to that. Yeah, there's literally no one close. It's a crazy low year here. And this guy isn't good enough. Like, with the red potential, only 74, already 22. So, like, 21 at 69 isn't even good enough. I would look for, like, maybe one guy to maybe see if he could turn this guy into depth. This guy right here, probably. Yeah, that guy. Forbes. I know I need to give him three years, but we're not really strapped for the roster spots right now. We'll sign him. I know he's not great, but it's something to help fill in. And then I'll sign one one of these guys, like this guy, Siegenthaler. Because for some reason, I feel like we had this guy. I don't think we did, but I don't know. For some reason, I recognize this guy from somewhere. I like his defensive stats. He's got decent enough offensive stats. He can maybe take a top roll. Or we could play. It's, it's a guy we could play anywhere, and we can only we can sign him for just one year too. So that's what I like the most about him. So we can we can sign him for just one year, just to fill in a role. So we'll do that, and just for the AHL type type deal, and then we'll advance a few days here. We should get everyone. We should get Shen. I mean, we're offering him nine mil for two years. I don't think there's a world where he'll turn that down, even though the team just traded him. So we got Forbes. That was quick. Uh, we got Breelin and we got Siegenthaler. Now the next big, now the big one is Shen, and we got Shen, so we can trade him again in another year for more picks. Poor Shen, but I don't care. <laughs> we're going, we're going all in. So all right, those will be the free agency signings we make. I can now sim to the next year, get the line sorted, and uh, come up with a game plan for when we can trade Simmons. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so I think the lines are now set up and uh, off uh, the uh, NHL team, not the greatest. They got a lot of guys up here don't really matter anymore. I think DeBrincat's kind of busted. He is listed to be depth, but I don't think I want to play him down to bring him up. I could. I could stick LeBurge in there instead, which I might do, but the thing is, yeah, maybe two playmakers and a sniper will be better than that combination. Basically, what I'm thinking is, I don't know if we'll... Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to make that change. It's... As crazy, as weird as it is. Yeah, um, I think that's actually, might actually be slightly better. Because this guy, LaBerge, with his defense, the thing about, ooh, wait, wait, wait. The thing about his defensive stats, they're a lot better. So it'd be cooler to get him 
better than Debrin. You know what? I'm going to keep it the way it is. I'm going to give LeBears a true depth time and Debrin Cat can fuck off because I don't think he's going to get too much better. At age 22, he's still only 82. Like, yeah, if he ain't getting good now, I don't I don't know. And we're, whatever. If he's going to get good, maybe we have to throw him into a role. <laughs> I don't know, but we're just going to do that. So, yeah, so here's the lines, basically. Not great, but we're going to try to help out Konechny. Keep him going, but he's 23, he's 91. I think he's just fine on his own now, pretty much. But we're going to give him at least uh, Shen for a while, Simmons for a while as well. We'll probably trade him uh, at least Simmons at the deadline, since we probably won't be a good team. De it depends. Maybe our defense will carry us yet again. We'll look at Sanheim, fucking 96 overall. We might have a chance to get a 99 overall uh, <laughs> player in this playthrough. That would be amazing. Him and Ghost Despair are going to just wreck face. Uh, Provorov and Jones, I think Provorov, yeah, he's listed to be top four, so that's amazing, Provorov and Jones, and then we, I had to sign another guy because people didn't grow, so I had to sign Kevin Miller to a year, he's pretty damn good defensively, um, and Hag, I didn't need a guy who's great defensively, but I was like, whatever, why not sign this guy, so yeah, that's what we're looking at, it's not great, and of course, the special teams aren't going to be great either, but I kind of tried to switch things up, get Debrinkat in there, to see if we could do anything, Here's our goalie situation. Now, I scratched Bishop because Hart is actually listed to be a starter now. So, I'm thinking give him starter time, see what he can do. He's 22 now. This could be a big jump year for him. Rusu's listed to be a backup. He's 81. Let him play backup. And we can ship off Bishop immediately and get some picks under us. And I think that's the better option, just to maybe get some more picks. Probably not for this year. I might bank him on next year and see what teams might be bad next year. Uh, it's it's always a risk because free agency is a thing. And But again... You know, what, what What? What? can we really hope for out of Bishop at the end of the day? So, that's the option. I'll probably take it. AHL's uh, a lot of better news. We got uh, Papa Guy here is now listed to be depth at 82, only 21. So, I'm thinking trade deadline, he moves up. Um, play him in, you know, a third or fourth line role. Same thing with LeBurge. She's listed to be depth. Valeno listed to be an other forward still, but I'm putting him on the first line because he's 77 overall with good offensive stats. Papa Guy of LeBurge should help carry him. I got Lind here on the second line because he's now 74 at 21. He's got decent enough offensive stats. Maybe we could break this guy out. So that's the plan there with Fromm and Elvinus. Then I got Enroth here. He's the elite guy, but he's not as good. And he's, you know, first year. I'm going to give him the third line time, but I also am giving him power play time. He's going to play with Knight and Keating. They've also they've both got decent offensive stats and good decent shots. So maybe Enroth can get some stuff there, done there. And then fourth line with that sniper guy here. I had him up there at first, but then I put Fromm in because I forgot about him. Uh, defensively, here's what I mean. Fucking Luke Green didn't grow for shit, so he's 22 at 78. He's guy's most likely a bust at this point. We could probably trade him, but for right now, he's helping out the team. Then we got Sunkfist, the guy we just drafted, and this guy who we just signed. Then, of course, Siegenthaler, who we signed as well. And then these other guys are probably not getting too much. Ruined it may jump up, but again, his defensive stats aren't the greatest. We'll have to see. Plus, he's an offensive defenseman, but hey, player types aren't the biggest deal. Uh, here's the here's the power play lines. Pop a guy, Valeno, then Enroth. That's what I want to try because they're on their one time side plus two playmakers and a sniper could be good with Green and Runin in offensive defenseman and a two way defenseman with some decent offensive stats. Second power play line, Knight Laberge, this guy, and then Lind, because uh, Lind, I don't know, and then uh, uh, Sunkvist on the uh, point here because he's again maybe got some decent offensive stats. We want to get him better. He's also playing PK. I want to try to grow him as much as possible in as many ways as possible. So he's also on the penalty kill down here. And then our goalie situation is Marmon Lindu jumped up to an 80. Listed to be a minor starter now. He might actually break out like we've never seen him before. He's always just been an AHL guy. Then we got this guy, Ackerland, who's 66. He's not much, but hey, it's something. So that's what our lines are looking like. And we can make some trade. Well, we can make a trade right now. And that's going to be Bishop being shipped off for a little bit of something. Maybe some picks from next year because we have quite a few from this year. And I don't want to go too, too heavy on one year just in case the same stuff happens that I did last year. You never want to go too heavy on one year because that's kind of putting all your eggs in one basket, you know. So let's trade him. We'll give, we're going to give Hart the chance and it might help us have a worse season. Again, it's going to be tough to do that. And plus, look at Bishop. He's still got some value. He's 33, but he's still got some value. It'll, this might put us uh, underneath the cap thing, but I can always sign another guy, so there's no, I probably will sign another guy after this. Let's see a team that wants him, that wants to give up picks. All right, now Winnipeg wants him. How good are they? They already have, oh, they already have great goaltenders. I don't know why they want him, but I'll give him to him anyway, because they're crazy. How's their forward core looking? Yeah, the forward core is looking pretty good. Some decline maybe from Wheeler. No left wingers, so maybe they might be a bit weak this year, but probably good to, no. Uh, this team might not be super strong, especially if I just trade him 
that. Now, how good would they be next year? Because we're not remember, we're not going for picks this year. Line is gonna get better. Shifley's capped. This Jarkins guy might break out, so we gotta be careful of that. Ehlers, maybe not, but yeah, it's it's a risk to go for a pick from next year because they got a lot of young talent. So let's see what else is here. Obviously, these guys are gonna be well. How have they grown this year this time? Besser is an 88, so he's good. Um Horvat. Wow, Horvat busted. Yeah, it's because back to the old potentials. They might not be a good team next year. How's their defensive core? Carlson, the decent defensive core, but actually not great. Yule Levy not getting too good either. Goaltender wise, Demko is good, but we all know about Demko. He doesn't usually sim well. Hmm, this might be a good option. Because although they are young, they do got some guys getting bad. This Rizika, even Castle's got good. But other than that, man, their defensive core still isn't that great. They could have a good season regardless, but next year is what we're looking at. The growth, I don't think, will be there from enough people. Although Demko is growing. And yeah, computers usually have better luck. There's enough, that's the one to keep an eye on for sure. Who else can we give this guy to, though? Nashville, I think, is still a good team. Oh, their cap is weird. Hold on a sec. They still got Subban, Johansson. No, they still look like a decent team. Probably a decent team next year, too. Yeah, why would they even want a goalie? Oh, that's why. Well, if I give them Bishop this year, I, they don't have a backup still. They might not have a... You know what? They desperately need a goalie, so this trade will actually make a bit of sense. They don't want to give up that pick from next year, though. That's a bit odd, but I can still probably get it. And then maybe get a pick from this year as well. Just to try to help that across. That's probably a bit too much, but I'll try it anyway. I can always retain, and I might want to do that just to help keep us above that cap floor. But we'll try it like this straight up. Need to, What the hell? Sweeten the value just a touch. It's actually really close. I'm surprised about that. But some, they're desperate for a goaltender. So we have the bargaining chip in this case. And instead of giving away picks, I might actually just retain salary because we're going to need salary anyway. Retain salary, make that an even sweeter deal for them. We're getting a first from this year and a third from this year. Do we need a third from this year, though? Although they don't want to get the picks. Yeah, we could use it. I mean, we could use it to move up or move back. Yeah, screw it. We have so many goddamn firsts. It's hilarious. Let's take it. Screw it, man. Retain that salary. Okay, still not wheeling. Now we could trade in later picks. Most likely just from this year, so we'll throw in a seventh from this year. And that should do it. Oh, not quite. Sweeten the value just a touch. Okay. I'll go with six and a seven because I'm, I'm still okay. Well, I don't have a six, but we'll throw in, I don't know who's going to be worst team, but I'll throw in our fifth just in case because we, we could be carried again by the defensive core. Fifth and a seventh. We might not even need the seventh in there after that. Uh, value. Ooh, what the hell? Matched it quite adamant. They're doing that thing again. The computers are trolling. Me. It's, oh, it's Nashville again. Trollsville. There we go. Okay, yeah, dicks. Yeah, yeah. We traded away a quality player, but we just got a first from next year and a third from this year. I th I'd say that's ridiculous return. We kind of, they were desperate for a goaltender, and we pretty much were like, here you go. Take it or leave it. And we got a lot. Now, I don't think there's going to be a good team next year. By the way they are having it. If they lose Bishop or something, I don't know. If <laughs> what I, don't, I don't think Bishop will retire for like whatever reason, but still. You never know. So okay, nice, nice freaking return right there. To be honest, more picks from the the near uh, the next year. Pretty solid, pretty solid. And I think we're ready to start simming here. Let me make sure injuries are back off because I don't know if I did that or if I even yeah they're not on still. Ha ha. So now we can start simming here. Get a couple couple months done like we usually do and reassess from there we won't trade simmons or what's his name yet i still want i want connect me to have a good year still i mean if we could turn this guy into like a mid 90s like that'd be insane he's already 91 remember only at 23 so how good can we get a green top six i didn't think they can get this good to be honest but well he might he might also swapped potential because of how decently he did but hey and, and well, I mean, when I say swap potential, it means they kind of just break out. But the game doesn't show them breaking out like it used to do in previous years. Like, they'd gain more stars. They, they just kind of do it. Like, And I think that's what happens with red top nines. Is they kind of, like, break out, and then the potential doesn't change. But who knows? Same with those green. Uh, yep. Green. Uh, yellow top nines. Jesus, I can't talk. Okay. Now we can edit this assignment. Probably, yeah, scout for forwards all around. We do not need uh, <laughs> defensemen whatsoever. 
We have plenty. Um, the thing is, we don't really have top six guys. But top six guys, as you can see, are a dime a dozen. I can sign one every year if I need to. It would be great to grow one internally, but, uh, you know, we'll... Uh, We'll see how that goes. We do have some prospects in there. We go, you know, we always pick up a top six prospect at any point. Those guys, you can pretty much pick up. I'm a bit bummed out that Luke Green didn't get there. I was hoping he'd at least get the top six. With his value when we, you know, traded for him is quite a bit. But hey, you know, win some, lose some, man. That's the uh, that's the nature of the beast. So pretty decent preseason here. And we'll see how we do in the regular season. As long as the first line does okay, I don't really care about the rest of the team. When you look at them, I don't. I care about the defensive core. The rest of the team is pretty much garbage. I just have spot fillers everywhere. It's pretty cool. We got Cousins on the second line here. So, yeah, we'll see how this, this season goes. But I, I kind of think we'll have an off year. As long as the first line gets some decent points, which I think they should, I will be okay with it. But, yeah, it'd be actually nice to get, you know, a good value pick this year instead of, you know... <laughs> like for some reason having a great year last year well i mean we did wait to trade a lot of our big guys but even after we made the trades like we were still like a good team it was kind of funny good year for rookies uh oh they might be lying scout usually lies we'll have to see again we'll have another big drafting year next year so we could always bank some picks like we did this last year and bank them yet again which sometimes you do kind of lose value. Well, you don't really lose value as long, like, as long as the guys you'd be getting are top six. But you lose value in the sense that you sometimes have to trade later picks to make that go through. Okay, so we lost a bunch of games and we just came back with a fat win streak. And then we lost again. <laughs> so we're three and four now. So a bit of a back and forth start here in Philly. Uh, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms are doing good. So that's, that's what you want to see. You want to see your AHL team at this point doing great. And uh, maybe our NHL is going to creep back into things. And hover around 500 all year and make it really difficult to gauge the value of our picks. Or maybe they'll just become a playoff team yet again. We'll see. We'll have to see. But we're 4-5-1 and one after that shutout loss to Dallas. I'm just, uh, I'm more interested to see the growth. And I can't wait to call it Papagayev and stuff at the deadline. It's going to be interesting. We should get a good amount of growth this, this uh, offseason for real. I'm hoping to see Papa Guy have get into a second line role. We haven't changed to a sniper. He's got a filthy shot. I really want him to get into a second line role. I think that would be perfect. So, hey ho, we'll see. Dallas lost to them. We get a point, but I don't care about points, man. I'd rather lose than win. But rather, I'd rather score. But no, I don't need Garrison, man. Get out of here. I signed someone for this. I don't need that. There's a nice big shutout win right there. And it looks like Carter Hart is not doing terrible. Like when you're looking at the goals scored against us and stuff, even when we're not scoring, he's like, he's not doing terrible. I have three goals, two goals, like four goals, but like that's going to happen over the course of the season. But overall, it looks like he's doing pretty damn good in the starting role. If we could break that guy out, then awesome. If not, he's just a spot filler. We'll have to pick up a goalie and we might actually want to do that in the, in the coming draft. We'll have to see what's available, but it looked like Rene has gone. Maybe a couple other people gone. Lungfist. Maybe there should be a big goaltender draft at some point. Franchise goalie Inc. <laughs> all right so here we are nine nine and two to start off the year hey i'd say that's decent sitting in six in the division which is not good but hey that's all right because we're actually looking for a better pick goes to spare leading in points so maybe the first line isn't doing too great but again connect can have an off here i don't think it'll fuck them up too much we'll see all right, so I don't even know why I'm checking the, these stats. But, yeah, our goals against is actually pretty decent. Goals four is where we're lacking. Power play is terrible, but I don't care. Penalty kill is good. Yeah, so I can't really do much to get that power play better. Like, we, we only have, like, one good line, basically. And Ghost of Bears leading our team in points after 20-something games with only 15. 20 games. Ah, that's not bad. Kanaki got 14 points. He's still doing okay. Simmons, Shen, yeah, no goal scorer on that line, really. We'll see if Simmons can hop into that role, but they're still doing all right. They're still on a decent pace. 60 to 70 points I'll be okay with. That should still keep Konechny on track. And again, he's already 91. If he doesn't grow too much more, he doesn't grow too much more. He's still a fan. He's already got poise in 90. What, what the hell? Jesus, Konechny. Clutch. Sweet. Tuck, 11 points. Uh, Still, he's 85 still, but eh. May, I don't think he gets too much better. If which is unfortunate. I'd rather, if he jumped up in overall, I'd rather it all be in defensive stats, to be honest. Or, you know, maybe if he gets, I don't care, either either straight passing and offense awareness or straight his defensive stats. That's all I want out of him if he grows. Of course, you know, you can't really make that happen, but I can hope. Uh, Zirkles, wow, 83 now. 
Listen to be depth. He's red. We're playing him above his role. Could work out for him. Sanheim. Let's check out defensive stats straight up now. Ghost is Barry. Yeah, Sanheim. Still 80, 96. <laughs> get that 99, man. I, I really think he could get there, man. If he jumps again, like he was what? Went up from like to like a 90, then he went to a 94. Now he's a 96. He's still got a couple years left. Maybe we can get him there. Maybe we could have a 99 overall guy. And he's look at his stats, though. Like he's, His offense is good. His defense is outstanding. He's a physical guy. He takes a few penalties because his discipline's a bit low. I'm not thrilled about that, but it's not horrible. Well, actually, 16 and 20, it's quite a bit, but we'll see. Carter Hart, he's got a shutout. Eh, it's not great. Rusu's technically doing better, but he's it's okay. It's okay for uh, his first foray into the starting role. He's getting backed up good. And again, if, if this guy busts, he busts. I don't really care. It's car I mean... I've only seen him get to 88 a few times, and it's only been the computers to do it, and they always get the good stuff like that. So, all right, that's what we're looking at right now. And uh, we can start thinking about the trades. We'll get to that in the next one. You know what? Nah, nah, because I still want to take take things slow. Yeah, I still want to take things slow. So we will squeeze another video in there before the deadline. Uh, let me actually, yeah, let me check out the AHL too, because that's going to be important. That's the main thing we want to check out. Make sure that these guys don't change uh, potentials when we don't catch it. So, also, I should check progress support. So, I will do that, and yeah, that'll be enough for a video. Uh, Valeno jumped up to a 78. He's getting, <laughs> collecting those points. Papagayev, still an 82, still depth good. 18 points. Uh, second thought, Thrawn. Oh, where's the other guy who's on their line? It's not, oh, it's not either, any of these guys. What the hell? It's Valeno, Papagayev, and none of these guys on that line. I don't think it's Elvinus, and I don't think it's from. It's LaBerge, I think it is. Yeah, it's LaBerge, and he's not really helping him out too much. What's up? Maybe, oh, probably because he's not, I don't have this guy in the power play, so that's a thing. And I don't really care about him anyway. Fuck him. Um, how is Ulf? I don't see Ulf here. That's actually kind of worrying because he's on the power play. Ulf Enroth, ouch, only three assists, but he did grow. Yeah, he's at like a 73. He grew up to a 76 pretty quick, so fucking he's growing. I don't really care then. Yeah, he's growing, so cool. Does he have two fights? What are you doing? Probably not. <laughs> um, Sunkfist got some points. Yeah, it's a, he grew, so I don't really care, but I would like him to get points, but he did grow, so that's a thing. Um, Armin Lind, good, still has to be a minor starter. Oh my god, he's killing it. Ackerland. He's jumped up two overall, I think. Yeah, he's 66 to start. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so he jumped up two overall. As long as he gets to 70 by 20, he's on decent pace to be an okay, perhaps a backup. I don't think he'll be anything more than that. Especially with how he started off and how he's been growing. He's slow as hell. But hey, we'll see. But yeah, I'm a little... That that Ulf guy, I don't know. Because Valeno's getting hella points. Couple power play goals. That guy's got a couple power play goals, and then that Ulf guy's not getting anything. The thing about it is, he did grow, so I don't really care. As long as he grows, I don't care about his production quite yet. I will eventually, but not quite yet. Let's check out those progress reports because that is interesting. That's interesting right there. Let's see. Only three assists in that many games played. It's kind of weird. Although, oh, the, yeah, he is. Well, thing is, he's on the third line in. On the uh, team. I can actually maybe bump it up to the second at that point. When he jumped up to 76. But we'll see. Alright. Growth on the NHL team. Nothing yet by the looks of it. Zero. And nothing for the goalies either. So zero growth in the NHL. In the system though. Ackerlin got better. And Roth got quite a bit better. Yeah. He jumped up quite a bit. And that's good news. Because we need him to grow. He's almost going to be you know 80 at 18. Like he's growing like weed. And that's amazing. Um, Lind didn't grow, so I could probably just bump this guy back down. Yeah, he's turned 22. I'm going to bump him back down and move up Ulf to the second line. See if we could get that guy going better. Yeah, so I tried to get Lind again. Papagayev. Oh, no, that's, sorry. That's not him. Mitchell. Don't care. Papagayev didn't grow. Um, Sunfist is growing. He hasn't, well, he kind of bumped up overall now, but he's growing, so that's good. Great news. Goalies, I think, yeah. Ackerland was, yeah. Ackerland grew. Marmonland did not really. Although, it did change mostly morale by the looks of it. A lot of morale. So, that's good. He's doing good. Keep him doing good. Maybe he gets a nice off-season bump. So, there we have it. I'm really excited about Enroth. He's grown 17 points in 19 games. Let's see where it's coming from. Deking his, his puck skills. His puck control got great. That's what you need. Uh, good. Offensive awareness. Good, man. 
Oh, yeah, and his shot even got better. How Does passing get better? Yeah, his passing got better by two. Great. Um, yeah, his offensive awareness got better, which is great as well. His shot got pretty good too, hopping up a lot. Defensively, you need awareness more than anything else, but shot blocking, stick checking jumped up. Uh, excuse me, awareness needs to follow a bit. Uh, skating got quicker. He uh, got a bit more durable and laying the body a bit. So yeah, I'm going to switch in with Lind immediately so I don't forget. Great news, great news for that, because we will need him. Imagine him connecting next to each other with, like, a fucking pure sniper. Wow. Just imagine that in the future. Him and Konechny playing next to each other with a pure sniper. Woo! That would be filth, man. Absolute filth. All right, so let me make that change real quick. Yeah, Lind, back to the third line with you. This guy jumped up from a 73 to a 76. I mean, I think he's ready for second line. He can play with Fromm and Elvinus now. Who are not getting the best points, but not terrible either. And I don't think this guy's quite ready for that line either. With the way that guy's producing, maybe. But again, some power play. Th 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 then the thing is, like, he's on this power play. So it's like, why isn't he getting the points if they are, you know? So, hmm, I can move. You know what? I'm almost considering moving. because Well, actually, Green grew a bit. Although it looks just morale growth. Interesting. That's probably just morale because I didn't see anything change on his name. We'll see if we can still get him better. I doubt it at this point, but we're going to try everything. All right, yeah, we'll keep Lin on that power. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it like this. Yeah, I'll keep that power play like that. Put him on the second line. He's not ready for first line yet. Put him on the second line, though. Fromm has really good offensive stats, and Elvinus has a hard shot. Fromm has a decent, no, nah, not the greatest shot, but Elvinus has a good enough shot and he looks like a goal scorer you put Enroth on that line maybe they get more done so that's what we're going to do there and we are pretty much wrapping things up here there we are okay so that takes care of that got some good growth from where we need it and what else can you say good start not the great well i mean not the record but you know what we want we want our guys to grow so we're on good pace right now so i hope you guys enjoyed this remember to leave a like and i'll see you in the next one